Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, obviously, today is the 25th of December 2023, and I can start my videos so to let people know that the information contained there is there so they don't watch it out of time and act on it as if it's new and lose money. Now, good morning to my subscribers on the X platform, formerly known as Twitter. Now, I know that a number of you are expecting me to say something. I don't celebrate Christmas, so you know you're not going to get that from me. But then today, I'm not going to be talking to you about investments, making money. Uh, we've done that and I've made you guys, God has helped me make you guys a lot of money. But today, I'm going to respond to some of your inquiries. How am I able to consistently do this? Yes, you guys know I do indexing. Indexing is a big part of what I do, but it's not the most successful part of what I do. I live by a principle, and it's not just for investment, it's, it's my life principle. It's called SOMS. Sums and sums just stands for successful outcome against money spent. Successful outcomes against money spent. So look at that sums. So S for successful, O for outcomes, and then M is against money. So the A is silent, and then S is spent. So successful outcomes against money spent. Now basically, what that means is that in my life, I want to tie a dollar well, because I live in the United States, or, you know, like a monetary cost to whatever I'm doing. And then I do a kind of cost-benefit analysis. And based on that cost-benefit analysis, the whole point of it is to make sure that I spend as little as possible to achieve the best possible outcomes. So, for, for example, now, if I want to dress now, I always want to dress well. What I'm going to do is, like, I believe in wearing the very best clothes. But then... I am not going to spend a premium on wearing the very best clothes. So what I want to do is I want to find the most luxurious clothes that I can wear that are suitable, that are also modest at the least possible price. And that's a sums outcome for me in my dressing. Now, I put that also for investment. What I want to do is that I want to buy the most profitable investments at the least price I can get them, at the least possible price. And that means that I have to use knowledge because I've got to time the market, I've got to understand the psychology of the market, and then to know what crypto to invest in, what stocks to invest in, what buildings to buy, you know, what where to just like set up like an angel as an angel investor. And that means that I've got to read a lot. I've got to read a lot because a lot of people do, will not want to put in that intellectual effort to reading reports, analysis. So when I read that, when I read reports, I'm able to know, okay, well, you know, this looks like this is going to be a good stock or this is going to be a good crypto. Because you have to understand, just like stocks, just like companies that are that have these stocks, they have to file reports with different federal government agencies in the United States. Also, cryptos, you know, the main cryptos, they have to have white papers. So if you can read a white paper, you understand the reasoning behind the crypto, the technology behind the crypto, the blockchain behind the, the crypto, and what purposes it was meant to serve, you can really know which crypto to put your money in. So you don't just want to put your money, for, for example, if a crypto doesn't have a white paper, I'm not putting my money in, no matter how much money it has made in the past, because it's likely a scam. There are about 24,000 cryptos right now, and of those 24,000 cryptos, I'm never going to invest in about 23,900 of them. I'm only going to focus about on 100 of them. That's because I'm looking at cryptos, I'm reading their white paper, and then when I'm not convinced with the white paper, I'm not going to go there. That's part of my son's principle in life. In everything, even in marriage, what you want to do, you want to even apply that in marriage. You're dating different women. I'm not saying having, you know, carnal intercourse with them. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in premarital sex. But you're dating different women, then you want to see a successful outcome against money spent. So if you're dating a woman, for instance, and then since you started dating her, you start, you, know, you keep going to restaurants, you know, you keep going on nice, expensive, romantic dates, you know, and then you begin to ask yourself, look, how much money have I spent since I've met this woman? And then you have another woman, since you've met her, since you started dating her, you know, she's now making you want to cook at home. Sometimes she helps you cook. Sometimes she teaches you how to cook. And then you're spending less money on her. You're going to do a sums analysis and go for that girl, especially if you also have feelings for her. Because at the end of the day, that is a successful outcome against money spent. If you have, for example, a fiancé, and it's not good for your for your finances, then what you want to do is you want to put away that fiancé, you know, because at the end of the day, money is very essential to life, making money. People say money is vanity, but money is a vanity that leads to your sanity. So that is just principally how I live my life.
and that's my message for you guys today but when travels all around the world i hope you get inspired about what you see i was to love greatness reno is a master only one man against the old world in large fighting with the monsters poverty i can't stand that's why reno is a